At the top of the food chain, it's hard to imagine a big cat having very much competition. Lions, tigers, cheetahs, they're all vicious, powerful creatures. But what happens when the stars don't align on their side? These predators might usually have the upper hand, but it can't always go perfectly. Sometimes it's a misstep that couldn't have avoided, but sometimes it's a matter of messing with the wrong prey at the wrong time. So keep your arms and feet inside the safari bus at all times, and stay glued to your seat. You're going to want to make sure to watch all the way through, so don't miss the surprising twists at the end. From the gentlest creatures to horned beasts packing a powerful punch, here are 30 times animals gave a tough time to big cats. Number 30, wildebeests are solid and unique creatures. Unlike almost any other in the animal kingdom, they're built like fearsome Frankenstein together a few animals. They have the front legs of an ox, the back legs of an antelope, and the mane and tail of a horse. Not to mention their curved, sharp horns provide an extra layer of personal protection against anyone who comes their way. They also have known as the new and one of the most specialized and successful African herbivores, dominating the plains ecosystems. Despite this, though, other animals seemingly didn't get the memo. Like the lion, trying to catch a quick bite to eat, he quickly bites off more than he can chew. The wildebeest's powerful legs are quick thinking saved him from this inevitable end, and cheated this lion out of her lunch. Number 29. This war dog didn't want to back down. If he'd just been attacked, you'd be less pissed too, wouldn't you? The lion in question seems a little distracted, admittedly, and maybe that's why she eventually backs off. Either way, this little guy's tenacity probably saved him a world of pain. It makes us feel like maybe it's more of them fought back. A lion's wouldn't feel so on top of the world, would they? Number 28. Sometimes not being fast enough can cost you a meal, and it did for this lion. No matter how stealthy she thought she was being, the young wildebeest didn't stay around long enough to find out what came next. He may not be the fastest herbivore, but those quick movements went on to save him from the jaws of a predator, so who am I to judge? Number 27. A mother's love knows no bounds. This is especially true for the animal kingdom. This leopard didn't stand a chance when they went against the warthog. He might have won in the end, a set of jaws like that as well as speed and agility unmatched. Only the warthog didn't go down without a fight. Don't mess with the mothers of any species, much less an angry wild boar. Number 26. Amazingly enough, these wildebeest not only outrun a pack of lionesses on the kill, but made it across a lake with what seems like very few injuries. If you watch closely, they not only jump over their would-be killers, but directly into the water and through it without skipping a beat. I know many of the creatures display some stunningly quick thinking and impressive skills on this list, but there's something so smooth about the way this big guy moves. Saying it's impressive almost does it a disservice. Number 25. Sometimes it's more than getting away. If you're anything like this wildebeest, you can fight back. Sometimes these predators can get an easy meal, and sometimes they pick the spunky one in the bunch, armed with horns and a bad attitude. Wild pigs are not the cute little muddy creatures you see on the farm. From massive tusks to protective fur, they're a far cry from the barnyard. But warthogs and wild boars are not something to be trifled with. These big cats learn that the hard way. Number 24, mountain lions. Like any predator are not to be trifled with, but neither is a goat with an attitude problem and 14 inch horns. They're nasty creatures who will hold grudges, and next to him the mountain lion looks like a rowdy house cat who's just been caught doing something he's not supposed to. Where's the spray bottle at when you need it? Number 23. I would say not all animal encounters go down like the Lion King, but more accurate would probably be almost no animal encounters or anything like the Lion King. Nala and Puma in the Disney classic got along swimmingly, but this warthog seems to have a bone to pick with his lioness friend. The way he's standing his ground is impressive, as if nothing was threatening about a big prowling cat circling. Number 22. This Rhino. In particular was not ready to be anyone's lunch. Clearly the lions understood what they were going up against, but that still wasn't enough. Maybe the horn spooked them. It is an excellent line of defense, but what they thought would be easy pixings was clearly not. Number 21. Ostriches are the world's largest birds. They're fiercely territorial, known best for being protective. These bipedal birds are often known for biting off more than they can chew. They're so aggressive that they'll attack anything that comes near. More often than not, they'll go on to win whatever fight they go against. Mostly because whoever they're fighting against doesn't want to fight an ostrich who has nothing to lose. There's a little bit of how they feel, like they're ready to die fighting. Lucky for these guys, they didn't have to. Sometimes being bipedal pays off. This ostrich saw its opening and bolted. 
The thing about that, and you're probably surprised to hear this, but ostriches are the second fastest land animal out there if you don't count them with the birds. Second only to cheetahs. And what they lack in speed, they make up for in confidence. Chances are they'll outrun something on pure spite alone. Good for them. Number 20. There's something worthy saying about a mother's instinct, but whether it outranks an animal's will to live is questionable at best. Similarly, the ostrich looks at its quick opening, getting away from its would-be attackers and sacrificing her baby in the process. Sometimes it's rough out there in nature. That's how things go. Have you ever been on a safari? Whether it's on the actual savanna or a simulated one in a theme park, there's a unique energy that comes from safari rides. Feeling like you're surrounded by wildlife. You get a chance to feel what the wild would be like. What would you do if you got to see one of these twists of fate in person? Leave us a comment down below. Number 19. Nobody is out here questioning whether the strong hippo is a worthy opponent. Chances are a hippo would take down nearly any other animal out there. But what about wounded and against five lions at once? This hippo doesn't look as large as others, but they're still a powerhouse. Not only do they stay alive, but they defend themselves against a pack of lions like a champ. It just goes to show how crazy powerful they are. Number 18. Zebras don't just kick with their legs. Getting one good kick in would be powerful enough, but getting both legs in, devastating. This guy was not here to be someone's lunch, that's for sure. The zebra might not be able to hide, but with a kick like that, they really shouldn't have to. Lions and other predators probably don't go after one of these otherwise easy targets unless they're sure they can handle it. Rather funny to think it might take a few lines to bring down a zebra, isn't it? Number 17. Sometimes hunger works against their favor because the hungrier you are, the less likely you are to have a clear head. In this lioness's case, chances are she thought she'd grab a fast meal and recoup her strength. But the zebra was too quick, jumping out to some rocks, leaving behind the would-be predator to her hungry stomach. You never want to make decisions mad, and you never want to try to hunt on an empty stomach. Basic stuff. Number 16. This wildebeest here takes on two lionesses at once, kicking and moving with a finesse that makes me feel like this isn't his first rodeo. Much like a drunk person in a bar trying to stay on the bull, this lion is somehow both stuck and not able to keep on her prey. Who said specialized horns weren't a killer asset? Number 15. Honestly, I'm leading to believe mountain animals might just be built differently. These mountain goats are not having it when the snow leopard comes in to have a go at them. They're built tough, much more brutal than their ground compatriots. Chances are they'll remember his face too. Better find a new stomping ground. Now. Number 14. Giraffes are graceful and gentle, but they're also deceptively powerful. They might be herbivores, but they're also the tallest land mammal. They also get as large as 2,600 pounds at a whopping 20 feet high. So maybe it shouldn't come as much a surprise when they get throw that size around. Likewise, it shouldn't be such a surprise when you hear about a giraffe kicking its way out of a situation. If you got the power behind your back legs, then it may save you from a world of hurt. This giraffe was lucky. One properly aimed kick and they're free to go. Number 13. How about another example of don't mess with a baby when the mother's around? This baby giraffe would not have made it very far had their mother not quickly stepped in. And it's clear the lions who were circling were not about to mess with the mother. A couple of good stomps dissuade them entirely, which, with legs like that, can you blame them? Better luck next time. Number 12. This giraffe barely seems phased by the lionesses trying to take them down. It's almost comical. I guess when you're that big, it's hard to take the little things down there so seriously. One good kick, and that would spell disaster. So maybe it's for the best they took it as a warning and got out. Number 11. Gazelles are graceful, light-footed, and quick. They're not just the first animal you imagine when you're thinking could take down a predator, but maybe you should consider them given the 14-inch horns spiraling out of their skulls. They're quick, they can be lethal, and above all, they want to live. But isn't that true of all animals? If given a chance, most creatures would fight back for their own lives. Sometimes the fighters come in small packages. Gazelles may be light on their feet, but that means every decision they make is a fast one. Much like the coyote and the roadrunner, they have to think quickly or be eaten. They have to be quicker than the predator. And when you have horns like that, you better be using them to your advantage. Number 10. Sometimes the best choice you can make is just playing dead. Unlike other animals, most predators prefer to catch their prey live in the hunt. It's less about the fun aspect of it, and probably a survival technique. 
Some scavenging creatures will hunt carcasses, but rarely will a predator like a cheetah take time to carve up a dead hunk of meat. Holy shit, it's eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> HOLY SHIT! That doesn't mean the hyena doesn't, but the gazelle gets out of there fast enough that they're scot-free, tricking two predators out of the full belly they thought they'd get. Number 9. Gazelles are wicked fast, and like other prey animals very much aware of their surroundings. Not only did this gentle creature display cunning enough to trick a lion into running the wrong direction, but they got away with it too. So fast, blink, and you'd miss it. Number 8. Water buffaloes are hardly a threat. They're generally slow moving due to their size and feed mainly on vegetation and aquatic plants. They are the world's largest bovine, with a height of 6 feet, not including the horns on top of their head. You don't get to be this big without being a quick thinker, especially on a deadly savanna. you think something so big and lumbering would be an easy catch, right? Well, you'd be wrong. This water buffalo was quick enough to not only dodge a lion, but the crocodile that came after it. Herbivores adapt quickly to their surroundings because to live means to think on your hooves and keep moving no matter what. This big guy seems to have gotten that memo. Number 7. Water buffaloes are lucky enough to travel in herds, much like this guy. When he was fending off his line attack, he was backed up by other buffaloes, which helped him escape. A single buffalo might be easy enough for a lion to take down, but a whole herd is going to be enough to take down any animal. That's not even mentioning the dangerous horn situation they've got going on. Chances are, you don't want to pick a fight with this big guy. Try to get him alone and get out before his family comes to the rescue, if you have to. Number 6. Hyenas are more of scavenger animals, similar in that way to the vulture. Alone, they'll go towards the meat on left behind carcasses. Hyenas rarely ever pick a fight. But if they see a wounded big cat, they're not above it. Thinking back to what I said about the Lion King earlier, I might have misspoken in this respect. They were right on the money. Hyenas exist in the background, just waiting for their prey to drop dead, so they don't have a way to fight back. Are they cowards or the ultimate opportunists? Sometimes you get to see how the tables turn. Hyenas generally go for carcasses and dead meat because they're the cleanup crew on the savanna, but if you get enough hyenas going all at once, they'll happily share a piece of live meat if they can. You have to imagine fresh meat probably tastes better. This lioness got away, but things got out of hand real fast for her. Number 5. Cheetahs are known to be very anxious, skittish creatures, but hunger is hunger. The family of cheetahs had likely not eaten for a while, the hyena who approached them was just trigger happy for his next meal, coming them a little bit before they'll die. Some quick thinking got the cheetah out of there safely, but this display is a strange bout of bravery. Number 4. Who in their right mind would mess with a rhino? You might be asking yourself that, but in the wild it's more common than you think. Rhinos are herbivores, like many others on this list, and the truth is, they're armored for a reason. Tanks of the savanna, they've evolved into their suit of armor, between the horn and their thick elephant-like skin. But being herbivores do make them technically prey, for a fearless predator that is. Just watch out for the horn. If you give up before the fight is over, of course, you're never going to win. The wildebeest knew they had an opening and took it as soon as they could, twice. These lions must have thought they had this meal in the bag, but the game's not over until all the meat is off the bones, it seems like. Number 3. Even as babies, rhinos know what they're doing. This calf narrowly escapes his fate, getting away from the lion trying to pick up the runt when they get separated, but surprisingly agile and quick on his feet, he scampers off to safety. Number 2. Elephants are massive. You probably wouldn't mess with one, even if you're not aggressive. There are so many things that could go wrong, and that's before the elephant even feels threatened. One of their massive feet could take down just about anything, especially a mass of 13,000 pounds and 10 feet tall. Maybe with enough backup, a few lioness could take down a single elephant if they have ample time and preparation. But these lions didn't see the forest coming when they have to scramble away from the aggressive elephant. All they wanted was her baby, and they couldn't find a way in. I guess she's a bit justified in the aggression in that case. Number 1. This one lioness thought she had it in the bag, trying to feed her cubs, when this elephant would have made an excellent prize meal. The safest place she could be is right on the face, like she knows, but when the elephant gets the lioness off its face, it's all over. The elephant has strength and size on its side. Without surprise, then there's very little lioness it can do before escaping.
And that's a wrap on 30 times animals gave a tough time to big cats. What do you think about these unexpected attacks? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like the channel, subscribe to Forever Green, and we'll see you in the next one.